Hi lady, and gentlemen, I'm not going to keep you too long because we a lot, lot of us talking here last night and if I only stand now we'll be here for tonight because I have so many people thank you so many things to say about the weekend. So what I'm going to do initially is, I, first of all, I just want to thank our own people. Uh, the, like the lads, it hasn't been just this weekend obviously. Uh, this has been going on trying to get our rooms ready because we had to make some improvements and and uh, so it, it has been going on for about six, six or seven weeks. The planning of it has obviously been going on a few weeks prior to that, but as soon as we got word from the Tourism Committee that we were after being awarded uh, uh, the competition. So I'm not going to name him, but if I start to name him, I'm going to miss somebody. And that would be extremely unfair. But all of them know um, the importance of the role that they play in the club here. And you're playing a part more in this club, you're playing a part more in your community. And that really, at the end of the day, is the bottom line for us. The trophies are fantastic. Occasions such as this, extremely, extremely good. It's something that we will always have uh, in our minds in the years to come. And Brendan Cooney's name has been thrown around a lot, but without those lads, Brendan Cooney's on his own. And that's the bottom line, and no man can do it on his own. So, lads, you have been in particularly outstanding, particularly outstanding over the last couple of, of weeks. And, you know, in your own head, you can smile and take a bow to yourselves because, you know, you've done your community some service with the work you've done here for the weekend. But the work that you continue to do year in and year out, that's the most important work for us. Because if we continue to do that, we'll have more nights like this, and we're not stopping here at this one. You know, because we're sticking our name in the head again, so if there's any other club in, in the country interested, they're going to have to beat our bit. You know, so we'll get everything right. When it comes again to Ireland, we're coming for it. So, and this is the standard that every other club has to beat. And that's our target always. We set a standard. We hope, you know, that people can see it and say, well, look, we've seen, we've seen the standard being set. Why do you want to see why I miss? That's how our name gets wrong, reputation gets wrong. So we ain't stopping at this. So to all those lads, look, she'll let you know, she'll look, I'm, I'm as much as half the year as you of me. You know how I feel about you. And I know the feeling is the same. But probably not all the things. But lads, thanks very much indeed. Yeah. Thank our two junior internationals, Noel Anders, captain of the Irish under 14 team this year for his help in the presentations, and also to Ross Pullman for his help as well. So, I'm very good to have you I need to thank Eugene Crotty, man here on my right. Eugene does outstanding work for CIA, I know the radio here, and uh, he covers the sports programmes, and he's always been a very good friend to the CYMS promoting our sport. And Eugene, thank you very much. David, Dan, Breda, Breda, it is more beautiful you're getting in. <laughs> she is. So is Don. Don is a masterpiece, and you can't believe in a masterpiece. Uh, she and Joe, Joel and John Clowney, Joe and John are, are two local lads here, for Soldier and Clowney, the Monsters of the Islands, and uh, very, very grateful for giving up the time. Uh, Shane, first time we've met you, Shane, the door is always open to you, back. So great day, and you did great work for us at the weekend. Thank you very much. David is a member for my CYMS, former chairman of Cox Logan Fellows, chairman of Monster Council, and uh, fairly heavily involved again for my CYMS. David, thank you very much. Much appreciated. What can I say? You were outstanding in your appetite and your energy and your enthusiasm for the sport to referee it is quite incredible and long may it continue. Thank you very much. <laughs> and of course, for our old friend who we've known for many, many years, Don O'Donnell, he's extremely grateful to us where I wear my other hat and cock snooker in terms of, 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 of being there to uh, do finals and semi finals above in the city. He comes down to you and if we have a team championships here. So he's always available at, at just a phone, and he's on just a phone call away. And obviously, he's an international class referee. Stay on board. Uh, just a few presentations to make uh, um, before I just want to, uh, before I'm trying to be as quick as I can, because now it's been a long day, lads, and the fellows are getting hungry, probably dropsy. So I'm going to start shooting out here, right? We would like to make a presentation. Uh, any of you there? We would like to make a presentation, Eddie will make a presentation to Patrick Wallace, uh, 
we're kind of the team captain for Northern Ireland. She was the one who, who instigated uh, ensuring that Northern Ireland were going to be here with us. We're going to be here for the International Championship.